Hey guys, it's a big day today. I am on my way down to pick up my first project car. I'm super excited. Uh, I've never actually bought a car before. I've always been like working on my dad's stuff that he just had. And uh, I don't know, I'm really excited to, to buy my very first project car. Um, it's a 77 Datsun 210, B210. We'll see how it goes. I, I don't know. It's really cheap. It's 500 bucks. So I got my trailer and pulled it. Or I rented a trailer. And yeah, pretty close to meet the seller and buy this car. So the first thing I did was I went out to U-Haul and I grabbed a trailer because I don't have a car trailer. And then I grabbed a come along at the hardware store because I don't have like a winch or anything. And that's what I'm doing in this video is I'm just winching it slowly onto the trailer and we're on a downhill here it's pretty steep actually it doesn't look that steep in the video but I was worried about the car like running away so I was using some big boulders I found to chalk the wheels and then this other guy in the junkyard came over and he started to help me but he just started like shoving the car I was a little bit worried it was gonna like roll away so I was super careful with those rocks to keep it from rolling uh, but we eventually got it onto the trailer um, I'm actually glad he came and helped me, but one concern was that the car wouldn't even fit because the wheelbase is so small in this car. Um, eventually though, we, we got it on the trailer and I cleaned up. I didn't actually film much of that process, I just ran a time lapse because I was just trying to get the job done. Um, it was kind of difficult because there was four flat tires, but we managed to get it on there. I had a little air pump with me and I, some of them took air a little bit, but uh, one of them stayed flat and it made it pretty tricky. So yeah, and getting out of there was kind of rough. There was just it was a really tight spot. It doesn't look like it, but there's a bunch of other cars around my car. Check this place out. They got a bunch of old Dodges. They got old cars. A lot of them. This guy said he had like 300 cars he got rid of in the last few months. I'm so happy right now. I got my Datsun on the back, heading out. This stretch of road is super washed out. You'll see it ahead. So I have to go like five miles per hour the whole way back, but it, it takes like 10 minutes just to go down this little road. But yeah, got the car. Like it might not look that rough, but pulling a trailer on it is pretty rough. I have to go. I don't even think I'm going five miles an hour. It's so slow. But look at all that rock. It's just cause like when it rains in the desert, these flash floods come, they just wash out the roads because that's the best flow for the water. Uh, I'm really not liking this, but we're getting through it. Oh. Got it. Whew. Whew. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right, it's off the trailer. Good. <laughs> Check back later. Looks terrible. Sat in water for a long time. I know it's leaking here in the bead. Can 
can hear it. I'm afraid this thing's gonna blow. All right, so here's the tire that was on it. I obviously had to swap it out because uh, it's like totally separated from the bead and blown out very badly. The rim is way in way better shape than this rim. This one is super rusty. If you can see, it's like crazy, crazy rust. Because this was sitting in the trunk and the trunk was just, I guess, full of water at one point. This one's like close, it almost holds air. It's just got water coming out all on this edge. There's one leak in the back. So I just need this tire to be able to roll and I, I shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna use the Supertech Walmart brand tire sealant and inflator. And yeah, I just need to be able to seal this thing up. I don't know how it's gonna react with the water inside, if it's gonna even do anything, but we'll see, we'll give it a try. Very pink. Oh, there we go. I should have read the instructions for sure. Oh well. So I don't know if it lost enough PSI or if it's working. But it sounds like it's working. Yeah, it's not working. Well, that actually sounds like it's working now. Huh. Let's see. 28 PSI. And it's not leaking anywhere. Thing. I did not expect that to work. Sweet. That means the car can roll now. Okay. Today we're doing a little bit of what's inside the Datsun B210. Um, yeah. I noticed right away that they have multiple like lock cylinders. I don't know what this is. It looks like something that takes a key. It has the same plug as the lock cylinder. Oh, here's a battery terminal. Yay, rusty. A bag of bolts. So that could be anything. Battery terminal cover. And that's it for this side. No, just kidding. Let me know in the comments what this might be. Uh, looks like an air filter. Well, oh, I'm guessing that's just an air filter, but what would that be off of? Because I don't think it's off this car. So weather stripping. Looks like a new old belt. It's all cracked. Castro oil box. Ooh. A new starter. Or probably not new, but a starter. Some hose. Looks like a water pump housing. Maybe a thermostat housing. More old weather stripping. Wiper blade. Another piece of hose. Miscellaneous. Oh, that looks like a brake bleeder. Cool. A gigantic fan shroud, which is not for this vehicle. Oh, the other side of a fan shroud. Huge. Oh, this looks like a cool box. All right. So we've got a cabin light. That's cool. I don't know if it's off this car. It doesn't look like it is. You got a shifter knob skirt, which is 
absolutely disgusting. It's full of mold and what looks like dog hair. Nasty. This looks like a column mount or some sort. Oh, nice. It's like a pulley. It's like an idler pulley. And this is like the bracket. I don't know what it's for, but this is what I saw in this box. It's another Dotson emblem. So that's nice to have a spare. Or maybe this, maybe one's missing, but this looks like the one that's on the hood. There's a distributor rotor. Nuts and bolts, some springs. A lot of bleeders, I don't know if that's, that's probably a bad sign. And like an oil plug for a lawnmower. That's it for this box. The greenhouse tomatoes box, plain Jane. Pretty gross, but I'll go to the other side and we'll see. Okay, let's see what we got on this side. I think that's the skid plate for the rear, or like a arrow shield sort of thingy. Oh, nice. The dots and emblem, this is one of the coolest things. I think it goes right here. Hubcap. I really like these things, they're like this weird honeycomb shape. Cool. Box of parts. What we got in here? Oil filter box, oil filter, actually looks oh. actually looks new, Napa brand, cool, just a bunch of, bunch of hose, looks like a side reflector, another emblem, broken in half, but definitely you could fix that, so that's good. Oh nice, fuel filter. Sweet! I'm not gonna have to go to the store. Just kidding. I'm gonna have to go to the store many, many times. I'd love to get free spare parts. Um, anything else in here? It's a door handle plastic. Oh, that looks like rear view mirror mount. Exhaust gasket? I've never seen a gasket that can do that. Another side marker trim. Two more belts. This one's definitely dried out, yeah. It's toast. Cool. Uh, connector. Okay. Center console trim. Comes with a Clarion car stereo cassette. There's nothing in it. That's awesome. The rear view mirror, broken. It's okay. It was already broken. Intake I just found. We got it. Absolutely nasty piece of disintegrating carpet here. Oh, gosh. Air filter. Another belt. Yeah, this one's shot as well. Some kind of heater pipe. Got a mirror. Another hubcap. Got a bunch of garbage, nasty old carpet. There's some heat, so looks like they were trying to get the water out of the gas. Um, there's like a power steering pump, a box of hardware. It's pretty sweet. Bunch of hoses. Got a glove box of some other car. I don't know what that's from. There's a vent and everything. I don't know, some belts that are dried out. A starter. This is like a nasty can of rusty hardware. I just need to throw it away. Here's the trunk. This is probably the worst part. Got some serious rust. I'll have to cut that out. It's got all of its roadside tools. The uh, hatch was like impossible to get open without a key. I don't have the keys. So maybe I'll find them when I'm digging through the car later. But I had to crawl back there and get it open with some pliers and then these, sh these little shocks are completely shot. I clamp them up. This is like the board that was over the trunk. I can cut a new piece and put it in there. We have all four hubcaps, which is awesome. Um, 
Here's a new headlight, a distributor, cap and wires, a distributor here, a bunch of wiper blades. So that's awesome. Some rotten old nasty visors. We're really set up for getting this thing running and like got plenty of like backups, which is awesome. Uh, inside the car, I was trying to like do a little detective work and figure out who was in here. So here's what I'm putting together. They were patriotic, had a fly problem, went fishing at one point. Uh, they like to look nice because there's a bow tie and like a hair pick. So they had some style. I think they like Pepsi. There's like a weird card for a bakery. Rainbow. Rainbow Bakery Stores. Uh, here's a pen for Proctor's Home Interiors from Cottage Grove, Oregon. So I wonder if this thing was over in Oregon for a while. And then there was like some melted cards. There's a whole, there's a whole deck of cards under the back seat that's just like melted into a pile. Um, yeah, this is that trim I had to pop off to get the uh, latch open. So yeah, we got a ton of parts and there's a lot of trim too. So that's pretty awesome. Really excited to, I don't know, clean this thing up. It's gonna look good. And that concludes episode one of the Dotson B210 series. So tune in next time for the next video and hopefully we get this thing started awesome see you guys in the next one